Good morning everybody, bright and early, here we are, quarter past seven in the morning, the crack of dawn. Actually this has been a bit of a lay in for me, you've got two little kids, I mean it's <laughs> quarter past seven, it's like the afternoon. Anyway, let's have a look at, uh, at VeChain today because it does look pretty good I have to say, but before we do that let's just have a quick look at the overall environment, that being one of uh, Bitcoin. Um, so we start with the daily and we'll work our way back. So the daily again, third day in a row already. Uh, again, quarter past seven, we're pushing that resistance once again. The more times you push a resistance, the more likely it is to break, although that didn't happen over here when we were battling with the same resistance level. This is a major one, huge major resistance, can't understate it. But at the moment, it doesn't look particularly strong, but it doesn't look particularly weak. So one day, hopefully it's going to chisel through this and break out. And this is why I said the other day when we first revisited it, I said, look, you know, new all time high today, you know, clickbait, but true. Because it could be any day that we push this resistance, the day that we break it could easily, easily make its way up to a new all time high. Because this is a huge sell wall. Look at this. I can't take it any more. Sell me right now. I can't take it any more. Sell me. Look, as soon as the sellers have all sold, straight through like a knife through uh, a hot knife through butter not a knife through hot butter mind you that would go through quite easily as well wouldn't it so it would be quite quick um and uh, it would be quite nice and i'll be looking for the top of this range to be met around seventy six thousand. to be fair when we get there though be a little careful pullbacks can happen from areas that are well new to the new to the chat so let's just be a little cautious when we see the breakout the longer we stay around here, the better it is for altcoins, I have to say. So let's move on to today's altcoin of choice. One of my favourites, the first, one of the first of the major dollar cost averages that I put in for any altcoin um, this year, basically. After selling around March, uh, I started to redeploy for long-term positions, and this was one of them. ICP was another one, uh, and there was a few that I'll keep secret because they're too high risk for me to start to broadcast. I don't want to be one of those people that's responsible for huge losses. I tend to only really talk about the things that have a higher degree of success. I don't want to be one of those people that starts talking about all and every tiny little high risk altcoin that I do because I know what happens out there. Most of you are mature, responsible adults. There's a lot of people who are not, and they'll say, Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I've only got you know two thousand dollars to my name, I'm not going to put in on something like VChain that might yield 10x. That's nothing. I'm going to go for the one that has a chance of doing 100x or zero. So I know that there's always one person out there like that and I'm trying to protect him <laughs> okay I'm trying to protect him because I know that that's what happens anyway V chain weekly still good the golden cross this is why I bought it as we approach the weekly golden cross we don't have many charts like this this is one of them that does have it weekly golden cross you're looking for long-term continuation and if you're looking to buy into it this is the sort of area where you'd start the first dollar cost average now I based this around the market the buy of the market and I bought it a few weeks ago, I'm assuming on this candle around here. Um, I knew I was going to buy it about a month prior to that when we were up here. And when we got down there, you know, I put my money where my mouth is and now we're moving. So, I say we're moving, we're not moving enormously, we're moving okay. We're moving up to the 21 exponential moving average, the 10 exponential. Then we've got the 20 and then the 200. Lots of major resistances on the weekly here. But that's not a big deal for me because it's about the long game on this one. So you enter in at a low price, you wait for the price to, to break out. So now what we're seeing on the daily is we're back above the 20, the 10, the 21 uh, and the 200. So it's all looking quite good. And yesterday hit that 50 exponential. So the last major area on the daily of resistance sits at this 50 exponential, which is around 3.65 cents. That's pretty sweet to me. I like the way that that looks. And again, this one has a major golden cross, which is kind of messily retested. And if you're looking for a breakout and a continuation and a V-shaped recovery back up to five and a half cents at least, you know, once you've cleared all these areas, that's a clear, clear breakout. Yeah, I would already make the case that we're, we're basically trying to break out, if not broken out already. But based on the daily, you want to get above all the moving averages. There's no pump signal on this one this is still very early days which is why a dollar cost average was the wiser choice rather than going 100x long on something like this no i'm, I'm in it for the long game here uh, and the long game begins down here now 
the thing that I was going to talk about this morning was this. This is the four hourly pump signal on the Ichimoku cloud, which has now been generated over, well, I suppose over the last 24 hours. Um, uh, and what we're looking at here is standard stuff. Again, you know, if you want to join my Patreon, we talk about these sort of setups all the time. And, and this is one that we've got. So we've got four components to create a pump signal. And you can't really see this down here. I'll have to brighten up my indicators. So what we've got is a green portion of the cloud, the leading green portion, price action above the cloud. We've got a conversion baseline crosses, which is a blue and a red part of the Ichimoku cloud that have made a cross below the cloud is fine. It's, it's no big deal. And then the cheeky span closed above the price action. It's basically a little higher than where the price is right now. So that baked in a pump signal. And so when you get these pump signals, which is these four components combined, you push up to the next major resistance. Now, because we're above all moving averages on the four hourly, moving averages won't be a problem. So you look for horizontal areas of significance on this one. So the first one is a bit of measly. It's a bit measly, uh, but it does exist. It's the 3.7 cent zone, which I know you're going to go, oh, I thought you were going to say it's going to go a million percent. It's a 3.7% move from the price where we are at right now. I know it's not much, you know, and, and we could we could surpass that, but that is a major resistance. So we have to we have to put it on there. Uh, you know, it does exist around there, and that's ever so slightly above that 50 exponential. But because the um, the four hourly is where it was generated, you know, we're looking for four hourly uh, resistances, and and this is one, unfortunately. But if if we break above there, we are looking to move straight away. To be honest with you, more or less immediately up towards four so just below four around 3.8 cents and again you're probably looking at that and going i thought we were going to be millionaires by the afternoon that's only seven percent that rome wasn't built in a day and millionaires weren't made in an afternoon look if we take ourselves to the four hourly what do we have we've got the 200 exponential coming in at exactly as that support there Sorry, that resistance. So it adds more weight to that first area being an area of rejection. Um, we've got, uh, uh, well, to be honest with you, there's nothing much more going on up here other than the resistances. All I'm trying to put across to you, really, on this is that this chart has a very good chance of success over a longer period of time. And, you know, scraping out this could could actually be the low. If we were to revisit this or come down a little lower towards three cents, I would definitely buy more. Um, and if we don't get the opportunity, no big deal. Once we've broken out of these areas, and again, like I say, four cents would be a big deal. But the, the big, big, massive moves will be once you've built a base around 4.8 towards 5 cents, which is above the weekly 200 exponent, uh, 200 simple moving average, which <clears throat> I'm sure you all know should be the lowest moving average. That moving average should be at the bottom, not at the top. And we go over to Bitcoin, you can see what I'm talking about in a healthy, nice uptrend. This is a daily, for instance, but in a healthy, nice uptrend, you've got the higher term moving averages down at the bottom 200 x uh, simple 200 exponential and you've got the lower term moving averages at the top 10 uh, 10 exponential 20 21 50 so at the moment v chain upside down more or less it's an upside down chart so we're making an educated guess that we're getting in uh, some significant lows here for when this eventually turns around and and, and but hopefully will look like this again hopefully i'm not going to say it's going to do that so much can happen in this market. We can't really predict that anything is going to do this again. We don't know. Everything could go to zero by um, by uh, Sunday afternoon. We don't know. There's no guarantees. I know that everybody out there is going to guarantee you something, but I can't guarantee you that because there is no guarantee. But what I'm looking at here is decent risk to reward over the long term. Spot position, not 100x, as I keep trying to put across to people. So futures, it's not a great idea for the most part in crypto. It really isn't a good idea. Um, unless you know what you're doing, right? Unless you, or, or have some very rigorous uh, risk management strategies in play. Leave the, uh, leave the futures alone. However, like I say, the pump signal exists uh, and we should be seeing that pump signal materialize and giving us the, uh, the value of around 3.7 uh, to hopefully 3.8. Uh, and then after that, we're looking to build a base hopefully over the next month or so above this which is around 4.8 so it's very very small baby steps lots of areas of resistance lots of 
let's just say, teasing us with potentially breaking out. But this is the market we're in right now. It's not parabolic season. This is this is create your portfolio season, if anything. And my expectation of this market generally is that it's going to be probably a bit underwhelming generally for altcoins or up until the moment where it becomes awesome and when it becomes awesome everybody piles their money into green huge parabolic candles they fail to recognize that the best place to allocate positions is when they were down at their lows and I consider a lot of altcoins to be you know, considerably low for where I expect them to go and VeChain giving us the opportunity once again to buy into this golden cross on the weekly which usually not always obviously but most of the time yields a v-shaped recovery and then some and if we're looking for a v-shaped recovery on this one we are talking back up to these levels but right now you know for me to say that we're gonna hit 25 cents is crazy but for me to say i'm happy to allocate at these lows roughly at these lows that's not crazy, that's that's what I consider to be, I'm not going to say smart because that's arrogant, it's definitely risky, all assets are risky, it doesn't matter what you're buying into, anything could happen to any of them at any point, but if you were to have a, you know, $10,000 and, uh, you know, you were looking to enter into, uh, you know, VeChain for instance, this is, or this was an acceptable area, 3.2 cents, we're at 3.6 cents at the moment, what will we be in a couple of weeks? I don't know. But over a year, I would expect this to have V-shaped back up into and start to reclaim some of these areas. And once you get a weekly uptrend, which again is what Bitcoin looks like, you know, when you have moving averages all in the correct place. Look at this, lovely, beautiful stuff. This is what V-chain's looking like now, okay, as, as an example. This is, this is kind of what V-chain's, where V-chain is right now. It's around here, looking like this which means hopefully over a longer period of time it'll end up like this, probably more aggressive, then I think, I'm not calling it smart money, just realistic, I think you know, this is a, a decent place to, uh, to make an educated guess as to where a low may be. If it fails from here, it's no big deal. You know, we can reassess and maybe buy more at even lower if the rest of the market is suggesting that it's, a, it's an okay trading environment. At the moment, I think the environment is reasonable it's not perfect it's reasonable and bitcoin again could break out into a new all-time high you know even as early as today and then get rejected and then might even consolidate you know back down to the 200 simple back down to sixty-two thousand dollars. that is realistic also and it's also bullish it's very realistic it can happen it probably will happen i would probably make that case that that will happen you know, $62,000 is where the weekly is right now. Over the next few months, it'll be higher and higher and higher. Once that makes its way above 65 to 66, you know, the game is on. You know, all dips are for buying. But right now, you know, we are pushing the resistance and resistance is often reject, especially this one. So I'm just putting it to you now. There's no guarantees. I know someone out there will guarantee you a million bazillion percent. I'm not guaranteeing you that. I'm, guarantee I'm not, I'm not going to guarantee anyone anything because that's not what a trader does. The trader says, all right, this is the risk to reward is acceptable over a longer period of time on this chart. Even though the four hourly is looking like it wants to pump a little bit, and the weekly is the one I'm focused on. But the four hourly and the weekly both look good. So you've got the short term time frame looking like it wants to have a little pump. You've got the higher term time frame in the weekly looking like it wants to perhaps maybe V shape recovery from these rough lows. I think this is a really good chart to highlight. Um, and look, I'm not a vet fanboy, I just like the chart. I don't know what it does really, I don't know how much of it there is, I don't know who's made it. I know it's been around for a while and it's not gone to zero. It's got a big community out there which generally creates some kind of um, um, self-fulfilling advertising because everybody's talking about it because they're already knee-deep in it, probably from much higher levels. That's what communities are like normally. <laughs> they're normally loads of people who are underwater that can't stop talking about it and naming their Twitter accounts. Um, VeChain's going to $1, says VeChain Master Whale. Okay, so you've changed your name to VeChain Master Whale. You're telling me you don't have any kind of particular bias in this or you're not, you know, knee-deep in, in VeChain from a much higher area. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's those sort of accounts you're probably better off uh, 
you know, sort of making a bit of a, a detour around, you know, choose the scenic route, don't choose VJ and Supermaster or whatever. You know, he's obviously, you know, <laughs> he's obviously uh, going to have a biased outlook. But for me, it's not about that. It's about trend. It's about um, risk to reward and allocating into a, a chart, which has, I think, a long way to go over a relatively long period of time. And I'm talking a long period of time, in like a year. A year in, in any other market is nothing. That's that's like trading the five minute chart. For crypto, a, a, a year is, is uh, obviously some people will be like, oh, I'm not buying this and waiting a year? That's mad. And I said, actually, no, that's not mad at all. That's not mad at all. Well, if you're talking like a, at least a couple of hundred percent, you know, and you're complaining that it's gonna take a couple, of, uh, like a year or, or 18 months to make 200%, uh, and I'm assuming the 200% is like a minimum on this one. Uh, but you know what I mean? And someone got 200% in a year. Oh my God, no way. No, thank you. No way. I say it all the time, but that is a 20... That, that's, that, <clears throat> that, that's what's known as a first world problem. You can't complain of making that sort of money over such a short period of time. Anyway, I'm rambling, but if you want to hear more rambling and look at more chats, I've got a Patreon live stream taking place tonight. There's links in the description below if you want to join, just uh, set yourself up an account. Other than that, I hope you have a nice day. Good luck out there trading. Things do look okay, but recognize that Bitcoin's pushing that resistance can get rejected at any time. That'll bring the market down if it breaks. I would say that the charts that look good will continue, and this has got a pump signal on the four hour, so that should continue. Other than that, though, hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.